Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to Amnesia the Dark Descent. Oh, the monster is free. Yay! So exciting. And he just left that room. Don't know where he went. Oh, there he is, there he is. I can do this. I feel it. Courage. Within me. Nope, nope, no it's not, no it's not. It's not, it's not within me anymore. Go. Where'd it go? I don't know where it went. Hello? Ooh, why did you do that? I have no idea where it went. Why is this place so spooky now? I thought I turned. <gasps> oh, please don't do that. There it is. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I'll just go straight across. Please don't turn around. Please don't be near me. Oh, I'm sprinting for it. GTFO! GTFO! Strange lighter frightened him, but it was also the only one which offered some comfort. <gasps> oh, jeez, I. Oh, I. No, 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 no. Oh. What happened? It was Goopy Glop. 
Oh. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. Oh, what happened? Why is there so much blood? Is that face? What is that? I'm gonna go wait in it. Oh! Oh, 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 oh. Nope, nope, nope. I don't want to be in it anymore. Nope, nope, nope. Don't want to be in it anymore. Nope. How's my health? You cut some bruises? His pounding hands are shaking. Yep, that's me. That's me right now. Oh, don't step on that. Hello? Let's just close this door in case that monster comes back. Or the monster's right in front of me. That'd be great. So I won't. You have an ascending room. Will it take us to the inner sanctum? It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Well, this place is super spooky. Alright, let's go. What? It's not working. Find a way to start the engine that powers the elevator. Oh, that's where I got the rods in, in those rooms. Is it? Oh, the machine room. Look. Oh, what? Oh, I have the key. So, running with Smith had been marked. Oh. Oh, I'm getting so much goosebumps right now. So much goosebumps. Oh my gosh. At least this place is a little brighter. Oh, okay, so... Hello? Let's just close this door behind me. Oh, that lag. Oops. A second. Who's there? Hello? Who's there? What's this? Oh, tiny boxes. Well, that doesn't work. Here, let's read that note. 5th of July, 1839. Haunted? Today, I went to the university looking for answers. I was able to sneak into Herbert's office and pick up an address book along with some relevant textbooks. Professor Taylor at the Faculty of History was very helpful, and I managed to approach the subject of the orbs. Oh. The most interesting aspect was the prevalent trace they had left in our culture. The mythic mm. orbs may, in fact, have inspired the Globus Cruciger, which so many royal regalia holds to this day. In ancient times, the orbs were held by priests as a symbol of the sun and its power. Ooh. As I was leaving, I overheard a disturbing conversation. Sir William Smith, the geologist, was killed last night. <gasps> oh, no. Less than a fortnight had passed since I'd asked for his expertise. I know it's silly, but I can't help feeling responsible somehow. Well, he brought him a magical orb that, you know, reconstructed itself, and then bad things happened. The, what does it say? The added quartio presses. Not gonna touch that, because I don't know what that does. Oh, I forgot that I, I, forgot I could run. But do I want to run? No. I have no idea what is down here. In here? Nope, don't want to go there. What is this? Hmm. Okay, we are... 14th of July, 1839. Oh, another one. I've read every book I can find on the subject. While rich in legend and hearsay, my knowledge is lack for the insight I crave. 
I've sent letters to many in Herbert's address book and received answers of varying importance. Today, I got one which differed greatly from the others. From a baron in Prussia. He said nothing about the quaint stories of priests in underground temples. He didn't even mention them. He simply wrote, I know. I can protect you. Come to Brennenburg Castle. Signed, Alexander. What am I to make of this? Protect me from what? Is someone after me? I looked up Brennenburg and traced it to the Prussian woods near the Baltic Sea. While being the least informative letter I've received, it causes me greatest distress and interest. As I write, my thoughts are drawn to my nightmares in which a most disturbing sound calls to me. A sound defying description. A voice from the void. The last few weeks have been awful, with so many sleepless nights dreading a repeat of those horrid dreams. Oh, no. Tomorrow, I shall visit my physician, Dr. Tate, yeah. in hope that he can provide me with sedatives to help me sleep. I'm not sure sedatives will help you sleep. Because you're... I mean, it will help you sleep, but there's... I don't think it puts into REM sleep to have you gain that energy. Oh, machine equipment memo. Note that there are only two spare rods left in the storage for the elevator machinery. Make sure to only discard the ones which are badly damaged and keep the others in the inner study rooms in case all three would crack again. Ooh. What are all these cogs for? It, it, it just feels out of place, like it's lighter than everything else. Oh man. The Tractatio Fluxus. Well, everyone, I'm actually out of time right now. Oh my gosh, this episode really scared me. That monster saw me, almost saw me. I have no idea. I just had to get away from the monster. That's it. Oh, and all these goosebumps. Oh, no, I don't like it. But everyone, thank you for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, please give a like and subscribe. I'd appreciate it so much if you did that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.